Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. In this video, we are going to do the resume review for zero to two years of experience candidates. So let's get started. Also, if you want to be the part of this resume review, just add your details in the Google form, which is given in the description. Now let's get started. So the first resume we have is of Khalilur. He is almost having the two years of experience with Java backend development. Now, this seems to be a good resume, but what happens here is that firstly, the, as the best practice says, your resume should never be divided into two sections. It should always be a one part. Also, what I can see as the first issue is there's though lots of space before and after this name. So, which is completely of waste. It's of no use. Also, how we can accommodate these left hand side things into as a whole page. So you can add these contact details as a line below your name. You can remove a tech enthusiast and you can add all these contact details here. The reason being, we, we, we want to convert this two sections into one. So that's the first thing you can do. The second thing that I can see here is that there is lots of space between these alphabets of a particular string that is his name. So that is also a bad habit. Try to Take a font which do not have this much of spaces. Also here I can see in this education also, this is too much segregated and the space is too a lot between the characters. So this should also not happen. Also, since he is having almost two years of experience, after the work experience, you can down below this work experience, add your educations. And after your profile, you can add your skills. Also what I can see in the skills is that you should never put skills in one single shot. You should always Subdivide your skills as sub skills. For example, languages Java, Java 8, your database as SQL, MySQL, NoSQL, and so on, your version control system as Git, your frameworks as Spring Spring Boot. So, this is how you can subdivide your skills and add them just below your profile. Also, one thing I can note here is that there is a mismatch in the line format you are using. So, this is a solid line, and here you can see the dashed line. So, be, be, Consistent in this perspective. Do not do dashed line as well as the solid line in the same resume. Also, what I can see a good thing about this resume is that you have used the symbols and icons, which is a very good thing because it reduces the spaces required by the names. For example, mobile number dash, email dash. So using these symbols is a very good habit. I liked about this thing in the resume. Also here I can see that education as a heading is large and the subheading is even larger, which should not happen. You should always have your headers larger and your subheadings is small. One more thing I can note here is that you are writing your experiences TWO two years. But whenever it comes to the resume shortlisting, the usually the interviews usually do not have more than three, four minutes to scan your resume. So here, just by scanning your resume, I cannot directly jump to the fact that you have two years of experience. So using a two as a number with a plus sign is always a good practice, but this is also fine. Apart from that, in the contacts, I can see you do not have any LinkedIn profile here. So it's good to share your LinkedIn profile so that just with your resume, people can have a reach to you. Apart from this, I can see that this particular part is gray sectioned. So whenever it comes to a resume, I would always suggest keep it as white as possible because when you highlight something, it is not that much highlighted even if you use the bold fonts. So if you have a resume to be shared, always keep the background as pure white so that what you want to highlight is actually getting highlighted. Also, if you are targeting a product based company, there, the lead code profile, your code chef profile, your hacker rank profiles, everything matters. So if you have any of such profiles, also add it here itself. I can see some grammatical mistakes here, here and there. So all, you can all, always do that. You can just copy everything, put it to your online uh, grammatical error check and rectify your grammatical errors. That can be easily done. Also, when it comes to your years of experience, just by looking at 2022 to 2023, I cannot assume that you have spent six months, seven months or how many months. So one year, two years. So always it's a good practice to add the month with the year whenever you add a range from when till the end date where you worked in that particular project. 
Also, you should always have the hierarchical work experience. That is the current should always be on the top and then the lower ones should be there. Here, it's an opposite way. I have to scroll down to see currently where are you working right now. So it's always better to keep the current one as the top one and so on. Also with the sections of languages, I can see that the proficiency of these languages are just as lines. So with this line, I cannot see or conclude that you have a very good proficiency, you have a strong, you are an expert. I cannot see because there is no end to this line where this particular line ends. So it's always better to not to use these lines for language proficiency. Apart from that, I really like these symbols that you have added. Also, I really liked how you ended in just one single page. But try to accommodate everything in one single page without dividing the page in two parts. Because there is not too much things to be added on the left hand side. I can easily see reducing few spaces here and there and reducing few lines here and there. You can easily accommodate the left hand side to right one. And make it a singular similar page. The next resume with us is of Sagar. So this resume I would say is near to perfect resume for me. No subdivisions, no grammatical mistakes much, not much of the alignment issues also. So what I can see here is firstly the name should be in the center because the first thing the person sees in your resume is a name. So it should not be just blended with every other thing you have in your resume. It should be in between and it should be somewhat bold which is the first thing you see in the resume. That's the name because interview starts with your name. The good thing I can see here is this is how you put your experience here. Two plus years of experience. This catches my eye. As soon as I see the profile summary, I know that this person has two years of experience. Also, rather than using this email, mobile, try using the symbols. It will not only reduce your spaces, but also will give a more catchy and attractive look to all these contact details with you and i really like that these are the http git links which is good enough here in the profile summary i can see it's too big profile summary so i would say try to reduce it into the concise and segregated one so two lines is more than enough to give summary about yourself it's just a summary it's not a description secondly since you already have two years of experience try to add your skills above and experience above this and education at the end because now your education doesn't matter much. Now what matters is your technical skills and your experience where you have already worked. Also try to put this name here and all these things can be accommodated as a subheading of your name and in one single line with those symbols and icons. That is a good practice of doing it. Now here as you have bold done the bold of your name also, it's a good habit to bold these particular headings also. So your education, your skill summary can be in bold. Also, here we can see some misalignment here. Can you see these are four things, but these are completely misaligned. To try to align these things as much as possible. Also, I can see that these bullet points are mismatched and misaligned. So these bullets comes in between two. Here also these are mis aligned so just very small mistakes here and there otherwise this is a very near to perfect resume i can see just the introduction and these things can be added to the center and this is a perfect resume till date here there is some alignment issue you can fix this also what i liked very much about this particular resume is that you have tried to do some improvements and enhancements and that you are showing with these percentages so this is a very good thing a resume should have. These percentages and your improvements is something which actually catches an eye for an interviewer. Also, I like these sub skill developments. That is, you have technical skills, you have functional skills, you have soft skills and development tools. Also, with these technical skills, you can subdivide these more into your language, your framework, your database. So that whenever I, I want to ask some interview questions, I would say, okay, SQL and no SQL. I can ask on both the things. So that's how when I want to ask for database, I can see just the database section. That can also be done, but this is also good. No problem in that. So I think this is near perfect resume for me. I do not have much of the uh, changes that I would require in this particular resume. So this is something a good one. So if you want your resume to be reviewed in such a manner, just let us know 
by adding your details in the Google form given in the description below and we will do the same for you. Thank you.